All right, so this is the studio I just want to give you guys. Today we're going to be shooting uh, Pandemic. I'm actually super excited to try out this new camera. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. All right, hold on. Let's just back up a little bit. And that, my friends, is why you should play more board games. <laughs> Victory Point Labs is doing another photo challenge. I'm so in. Let's get to it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this week's episode, I'm going to attempt my very first photo shoot. Victory Point Labs is doing a community photo challenge again. In this photo challenge, what you have to do is find a piece of artwork that inspires you and create a photo from that piece of artwork and use the board game Pandemic. So I spent a lot of time thinking about what artists I want to use as inspiration. And there was only one person I could really think of. I'm a huge Marvel and DC fan. So there's one artist that's turned out above the rest that I could think of, Alex Ross. If you haven't heard of Alex Ross, he does these super hyper realistic paintings, super moody and dramatic of Marvel characters and DC characters. You might recognize his famous painting of Joker and Harley Quinn. But that's not the artwork that I'm gonna to use today that inspired me. I actually found this photo by Alex Ross. And I've seen online these cool double exposure photos. And that's what I'm going to attempt in today's video. I'm actually super excited for this challenge because I recently just picked up the Sony ZV-1. Yeah, I said Z because I'm Canadian. Anyways, before we jump into today's challenge, I just want to explain why I picked up the Sony ZV-1. The main reason is because I am new to this whole YouTube thing and photography. This channel is about my journey on getting better and I feel the Sony ZV-1 was the perfect fit because it is a really good point and shoot camera and from what I've seen it does really good jobs recording video and taking decent photos. It also doesn't have a record limit so that helps too. And I really enjoy shooting cinematic b-roll videos and this camera can shoot 120 frames a second in 1080p and I can't wait to try that out in the future. Now let's jump into the photo challenge. Hey guys I just want to let you know before we get into this video that I'm doing a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. I have all the details in my last week's video, a board game commercial about Chai that I did just for the fun of it. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave it linked below or right here, here. Still new to this whole YouTube thing, so I don't know what corner it actually will be in, but I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the time I upload my 20th YouTube video. We're almost halfway there. If you haven't checked out that video, here are the details on how to enter the giveaway. First, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Second. Follow me on Instagram. Next, go to my last week's video and comment down below on that video with your Instagram handle and ask me a question. That's it, that's all you have to do. And I'll be picking a winner on June 2nd in my next week's video to see who wins the $25 Amazon gift card. I'll be answering everyone's questions in my next week's video. Best of luck to everyone. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is the studio I just wanna give you guys. Today we're gonna to be shooting a uh, pandemic. I'm actually super excited to try out this new camera. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I hope it's good. Uh, I hope I learned something. I hope I can teach you guys something. And I hope we can get a good video out of today. Because of that Alex Ross painting, I wanted to try a double exposed photo. I'm going to try to attempt to do that with Pandemic. So to start things off, I started taking pictures of the cards and the game board. I used a white background for this setup to help bounce light so I didn't get a glare on the cards or the game board. Once that was done, I moved on to the hardest part. On the Sony ZV-1, it has a burst mode. The idea in my head is I wanted to capture the components flying in the air. For being new to photography, this was really tricky. I didn't think I could get the shot. That's it, I can't figure this out. I give up. All right, I'm back. I just took a break. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I did some research online and I think I need to increase my shutter speed to get less motion blur. Um, so I'm gonna do that and hopefully uh, the lighting is okay and the image doesn't seem too dark. So I'm still new to this whole photography thing. So understanding shutter angle, ISO, uh, f-stop, all that. I'm still very new to it. I'm just used to taking pictures on my phone. So I actually use an actual camera is so new to me. I think I can get the shot. Uh, I'm gonna get back to it. I'll catch you guys in a bit. 
This by far was the hardest part of the photo shoot. I was having a really hard time getting the exact shot I needed. After a couple of tries, I got this. I was so happy with the shot, I couldn't wait to edit it. I brought all the photos into Photoshop. I searched through the photos to figure out which ones I wanted and started getting to work. I was masking out the character, using levels and curves to get the right highlights and shadows, and using masks to get rid of the harsh edges and using the screen mode to blend the photos together. Here's how it turned out. All right, what do you guys think? Did I do a good job with the challenge? I ended up only using three images for the photo. Any more than that, I felt it got too messy for the photo. That's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget, I'm doing that $25 Amazon giveaway. And if you guys liked this week's video and learned something, please give this video a like and maybe consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And don't forget about that giveaway. And I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Take care. Who knew board game photography can uh, cause such a mess?